What's up guys, welcome back. We got our new welded fan from CP Performance. We also got a velocity ring for the fan shroud. These were used on late model fuel injected fan shrouds to increase airflow. It actually goes behind the fan shroud where it sucks in air. This ring works just like a velocity stack in a carburetor. All right guys, so I went ahead and disconnected and unbolted everything. So the fan shroud is just sitting loose and it's ready to pull out. So we just pulled out the fan shroud and check out all this carnage. There's just fins everywhere. There's some more in here and there. Some more in there. The oil cooler got a little scratched up. I'm surprised nothing happened to it and it's not leaking. And check out the fan. I'm gonna go ahead and start fishing all those bits and pieces out, and we're gonna get started in replacing the fan. So I fished all the fins out. These are all the ones I found. Whoops. So it looks like the entire fan exploded. You guys can see, there's literally no fins on that fan. And it looks like I need a new fan drought too. All right guys, so you guys can check out the damage. Completely exploded. All right guys, so check out the fan. It's all demolished inside, so I'm definitely going to need a new one. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and replace the fan while we try to source a new fan shroud. Alright guys, so I was able to find a new fan shroud. My buddy Anton hooked it up. He also hooked it up with some new pieces for the alternator backing plate. So I'm gonna throw the alternator and the fan onto the fan shroud, and then we're gonna go ahead and get to installing the Venturi ring. All right guys, so we got the fan shroud and the alternator all together with the new welded fan. Now I'm gonna install the Venturi ring. So I'm gonna mark the holes and rivet the ring onto the shroud, and I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right guys, so check this out. We got the Venturi ring installed with some rivets. So the reason I wanted to install this Venturi ring because it increases airflow by 800 CFM at 4,000 RPM. And I don't have any of the stock cooling. So like the rear plate and then this, or the front plate, the rear breast plate, cause all this turbo stuff, now to cut a lot of my engine bay out. So this is gonna help a lot more with cooling, especially because I don't have 
any of the factory, most of the factory tin. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the fan shroud back onto the motor so we can get this thing started. So we got the fan shroud in. It was a little bit of a struggle because I had the carburetor in the way, turbo in the way, but they didn't really want to mess with taking those off, so we got them in. Later.